I um just got a, a order from a store over the weekend um for a product I sell. I'm kind of hesitant to sell through stores because then I become basically a wholesaler. I don't get my retail pricing that I get for direct to consumer pricing online retail sales. And it kind of sucks cuz there's basically almost no profit right now until I streamline and get the cost of manufacturing way lower selling through stores they get so much of my profit so I don't really make anything in fact I get paid crappy crappy wages for once you include my labor but my wife really is pushing for me to do it because that's kind of going to help me a lot in the future once I do get the cost of manufacturing down if I can create a lot of store relationships and really increase my sales that way so yeah I mean I've got to build a lot of machines to get the manufacturing automated and if I can automate everything then even selling to stores I'll make a large amount of profit so let's say right now if I sell to a store if you include my labor cost I'm losing money but once I build all these machines that automate manufacturing then I'll be making a good amount of money even when selling wholesale to a store so even though there's not money in it now I'm not really losing money I'm just getting paid crap for my labor um, but it it can create a pathway later if those stores become great sellers and it can help to solidify my products presence overall in the entire marketplace and and just get it out there get more people knowing about it and um, ideally just grow the success of the product more so I don't know I mean that's the hope it is a pretty novel product so it should stand out if people start using it on a larger scale it could easily start leading to more online sales because I'm when I sell through retail stores I do tell them no online sales no drop shipping so that I'm not being Con, um, competing with my own sub sellers in other words so I I hand nobody else can drop ship nobody else can sell online but me and then they just are brick and mortar to expand my presence and I learned that you can make stipulations like that through GoPro's service. Now, I know GoPro's going out of business or whatever, but, you know, they were a successful company, and that's, we don't know, and that had to do with them going public, blah, blah, blah. That doesn't mean that the policies that they use weren't something used a lot in the industry, which is, if you want to sell GoPro's, you can't do a drop shipping, you can't sell them online. You have to sell it um, through a brick-and-mortar store. And so they had those rules, and I copied that. Even I copied the wording and stuff.